The clone pilots of the Grand Army of the Republic were some of the most highly skilled men in the entire fighting force, and most of the ones we know are definitely worthy of recognition. Despite this however, very few clone pilot characters are actually remembered, with most having been forgotten despite their acts of heroism. In this video, we're looking to rectify this and give these forgotten pilots some well-deserved coverage. Attention, Sergeant on deck! Starting off, we have a clone pilot that was well and truly forgotten. Hob 147 was a clone pilot that flew a V-19 Torrent Starfighter, which was badly damaged and nearly destroyed at some point in the Clone Wars. Miraculously, 147 survived this and remained unconscious in the cockpit of his fighter until his fighter was retrieved by a battlefield scavenger. Considering that 147 wore Phase 1 pilot armor and was flying a V-19 torrent at the time of his craft's destruction, it's possible that he somehow survived unconscious for well over a year, as his rescue was shortly after the end of the war. Hob 147 awoke to find that the Clone Wars were over and more importantly that Order 66 had been issued, meaning that all Jedi were enemies of the New Galactic Empire. The scavenger that had picked up 147 was smuggling Jedi younglings to the Outer Rim, a mission that was put in jeopardy when Imperial Stormtroopers boarded the vessel. 147 was faced with a choice, following his orders or protecting the younglings. Fortunately, he chose to protect the younglings and sent his fellow clones on their way. Lieutenant Hawk was a fairly legendary clone pilot who piloted gunships, shuttles and starfighters in coordination with the 501st Legion for most of the Clone Wars. gotten a fix on Senator Amidala's position. We'll have a better lock once we get near the city. But initial scan suggests she's still alive, sir. Good. Hawk, we're gonna need air support once we're on the ground. You'll have it, General. Me and the boys are ready to fly. He rescued Generals Anakin Skywalker and Kenobi during the Battle of Christosis, deployed the first wave of troops during the Battle of Teth, and delivered Skywalker and his fellow brothers to Umbara during that battle from the cockpit of an LAAT gunship, missions that often put him at high risk. He also flew the shuttle that dropped Skywalker, Kenobi, Tano and Rex off on Onderon, and served as a fighter pilot during the Battle of Scipio. Now that's quite the resume. All fighters return. We're preparing for light speed. Uh Right. Axe, stand on it. We only have a few seconds to get on board. Don't worry about me, Skipper. Axe is a clone pilot that can be remembered as one of the many brave men that died at the hands of Jedi Ineptitude, an unfortunate loss for the Republic. Axe was a clone pilot that originally commanded Blue Squadron, a V-19 turret unit, but he yielded this role to Ahsoka Tano for the Battle of Ryloth, instead coming Blue too. Axe was a very capable pilot, as were the rest of his men, but they were no match for poor tactics, as Tano led them right into a separatist trap in the opening stages of the Republic's attempt to retake the world, getting nearly all of Blue Squadron's brave pilots killed. Moving away from Jedi Ineptitude, we have Warthog, a clone pilot that was instead saved by a Jedi General. Seven, cut the engines. Yeah, that got him. Good work, General. Keep your focus, Warthog. Watch out for those towers. Warthog was a clone pilot that worked with the Wolf Pack, and he often flew alongside the unit's commander, Plo Koon. Like with Hawk, Warthog was a veteran of many missions, including the Battle of Gwori, the First Battle of Felucia, the mission to Alina, and the Battle of Kadavo. He showed commendable skill in all of these appearances, particularly at Gwori and Kadavo. He had a pretty close friendship with General Plo Koon, as the man saved his life above Felucia and chose him as a wingman for the Battle of Kadavo. GC-1000, a pilot that was nicknamed Click, by a quote, humor challenged Padawan, was a clone that served first the Republic and then the Empire, with a career that spanned decades from the first Battle of Geonosis to after the Battle of Endor. Click served for the entire length of the Clone Wars and was involved in Order 66 and either killed or helped kill a Jedi General. 
He chose not to retire after the end of the Clone Wars and served the Empire as the commander of a Starfighter squadron. After the Battle of Endor, the Empire fractured into factions run by warlords, and GC-1000 ended up under the command of Admiral Craven. Craven made Click a colonel, though Click later came into the service of the Warlord Chronal instead. Because of Click's interpretation of the events of the Battle of Endor, he saw Luke Skywalker as the rightful heir to the throne of the Empire, and when he finally encountered the Jedi Knight, he treated him as such. As a result, when Skywalker ordered him and his men to defect to the New Republic, they complied, though all of them later died at the hands of Kronal on Mindor. CT-2237, more commonly known as Oddball or David Jean, was a clone pilot that served under General Kenobi from the Battle of Teth through to the Battle of Coruscant. Otherwise known as Red 2, Oddball rose to the rank of commander over the course of the Clone Wars and was one of Obi-Wan Kenobi's most trusted clone pilots. He was highly skilled and could handle any number of craft, from the V-19 turret and the Y-Wing to the ARC-170 and even a Venator-class Star Destroyer. Oddball served as Kenobi's wingman during the Battle of Teth as a rookie pilot and continued to serve alongside him in later campaigns. He led a squadron of bombers during the Battle of Umbara and flew a gunship during the manhunt for Ahsoka Tano shortly after the bombing of the Jedi Temple Hangar, and eventually became a clone commander. His commanders were so confident with his skills that he was, alongside Anakin Skywalker, tasked with piloting an entire Star Destroyer in a precision hyperspace jump that would end up behind the Separatist blockade of Boz Pity. He played an extensive role in the open circle armada's actions during the Adarim sieges and flew alongside Kenobi and Skywalker at both Belderone and Coruscant. CT-55-11-9009, otherwise known as Jagala, was a bit of a scumbag, but was nonetheless a capable, if aggressive, pilot. Jag was originally a commander and served in the very first battle of the Clone Wars, but he was disgraced and demoted to captain after the battle of Catracy. This probably would have been the end of his notability in the history of the Clone Wars were it not for Plo Koon, a Jedi general that took pity on Jag. Plo Koon chose Captain Jag as a test pilot for the new ARC-170 Starfighter line, and Jag served in distinction from that point forward. General Plo came to trust Jag and he chose him as his wingman for a variety of missions, including during the battle of Cato Nemoidia. Unfortunately for Plo Koon, however, Jag had absolutely no loyalty whatsoever to the man that rescued his career and shot him down in compliance with Order 66 without so much as a second thought. Matchstick was a pilot in the Republic's infamous Shadow Squadron, in which he served as Shadow 2. He might have been the commander of Shadow Squadron when the unit wasn't under Jedi command, as some material suggests, but this isn't known for sure. He was a highly skilled pilot, as were the others in his squadron, and he was close friends with fellow Shadow Squadron pilot Broadside, with whom he often engaged in bets on the likelihood of their survival of upcoming missions. Matchstick and his squadron were chosen to pilot experimental BTLB Y-Wing bombers in the Battle of Kalida Nebula, the Republic's desperate attempt to destroy the CIS Dreadnought Malevolence. Unfortunately, the real danger for Matchstick in the mission ended up coming before his encounter with the battleship itself. His Y-Wing was damaged in a near collision with a Nibre Manta during the trip through the nebula, and this damage caused his engine to explode during the battle, resulting in a collision with fellow pilot Tag. Another member of Shadow Squadron, Broadside ended up surviving the Battle of Kalida Nebula, though this victory would have been bittersweet for him, as his close friend Matchstick did not. Broadside, like Matchstick, was a highly skilled pilot and specialized in the handling of new Y-Wing bombers. He flew alongside General Skywalker at the Kalida Nebula and later returned to Skywalker's side during the defense of Kamino, another battle that Broadside ultimately survived. His fate is unknown. So those are the tales of 9 clone pilots that we thought deserved a bit more spotlight. We pulled out nearly every single clone pilot with character history available for this one, but if we did miss out on any that you felt should have been included, feel free to post it in the comments section below. And as always guys, just before you go, please do consider joining our wider Geetsleys community on our discords and our Geetsleys gaming network. If you just click that little show more button on that description tab, you should see a bunch of links and it will invite you to all kinds of fun Star Wars places where you can discuss and play games with other Star Wars fans such as yourself. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.